This is Radio Nepal. I'm Kaushal Gimire with the news, the headlines first. Nepal requests early repatriation of Nepali citizens from Israel. Nepalis live nearby Gaza Strip relocated to safer places. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda expresses commitment to resolve problems seen in health sector. Artillery strike on a displaced persons camp in Myanmar kills at least 29 people. And England defeat Bangladesh and Pakistan defeat Sri Lanka in the ongoing ICC ODI World Cup. Now the news in detail. Foreign Affairs Minister N.P. South has requested his Israeli counterpart, Eli Cohen, for early repatriation of Nepali citizens, including the mortal remains of deceased citizens from Israel. In a telephone conversation yesterday, South also requested the Israeli government to facilitate the safety and security of Nepali nationals in Israel and relocate them to safer areas if needed. Cohen assured South of Israel's full support in the early repatriation of the mortal remains and return of Nepalese desiring to go back home. Earlier yesterday, South informed the International Relations and Tourism Committee of the House of Representatives that 324 Nepali citizens had registered with the Nepali Embassy in Israel to return home. Considering the present situation, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has requested Nepalese who are about to go to Israel for study and other purposes not to do so at the moment. All 55 Nepali students working in an agriculture farm along the Israel-Gaza border have been relocated to a secured place. According to the Nepali embassy in Tel Aviv, 72 Nepali people who were awaiting rescue from the nearby northern border of Israel have also been shifted to a more secured place. The World Mental Health Day was observed across the globe, including Nepal, yesterday with various programs. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda stressed the need for creating an enabling environment for patients with mental illness to live a respectable life. In a video message on the occasion of the World Mental Health Day yesterday, Prime Minister Dahal said that accusations and discrimination should not take place against mentally ill people to build an inclusive and equitable society. Prime Minister Dahal also expressed his concerns over the report that one out of ten Nepali was suffering from mental illness and 19 lose their lives on a daily basis to mental illness. Prime Minister Dahal also urged people to have a balanced diet, enough sleep, regular exercise and exchange of help and support among friends when in problem. The District Administration Office, Bake, has lifted the curfew and prohibition order in Nepal Ganj. Assistant Chief District Officer Topendra Bahadur Kesi of Bake said that the District Administration Office yesterday decided to remove the curfew, bearing in mind the situation improved off late in the town. He added that the situation had presently turned to normalcy. The District Administration Office Bake issued a curfew order in Nepal Gunj last Tuesday with the development of social unrest. The curfew was issued on October 3rd following religious unrest that was reportedly caused due to a social media post. Deputy Superintendent of Police Naren Dangi said passengers help desk had been established in the bus parks in Kohalpur and Nepal Gunj. On the first day of advanced ticket booking at Gangabu Bus Park for the upcoming Dasai Tihar and Chhat festivals, over 24,000 individuals reserved their seats to travel back to their hometowns. The government opened advanced ticket booking for long and medium routes targeting passengers going to their homes in districts outside the Kathmandu Valley and vice versa for the upcoming festivals. It has been said that the number of passengers at the bus park has increased this year as opposed to the previous years. 
The ticket booking for short routes will be open from Kartastapana the first day of the 15-day long Dasai festival. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. On to some international updates now. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Gilad Edan, says there's been 100 to 150 people that are being held captive in Gaza, having been kidnapped from Israel on Saturday. The Israeli military says it has spoken to the families of 50 of those hostages and will contact more as the military verifies information. Last night, Hamas said it would kill hostages if Israel launched airstrikes without warning. As many as 1,008 people have died in Israel following the Hamas attack. Around 3,500 have sustained injuries of various varying degree. At least 29 people, including children, have been killed in an artillery strike on a displaced persons camp in northeast Myanmar near China's border. According to the BBC, the camp is in an area controlled by the Kachin Independence Organization, KIO, one of several ethnic insurgent groups which have been fighting for self-rule for many decades. It is one of the deadliest attacks in the 63-year-old conflict in Kachin state. Kachin officials say the armed forces have scaled up attacks on KIO-run areas over the past year because of the growing Kachin support for other insurgent groups fighting, according to the military government. Much of Myanmar has been embroiled in a wider civil war since a 2021 military coup, displaced the country's elected government. Now a sports update. England defeated Bangladesh by 137 runs and Pakistan defeated Sri Lanka by six wickets in the ongoing ICC Men's ODI World Cup in India. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the Meteorological Forecasting Division, the weather is likely to be partly to generally cloudy in Kosi Province, Madhis Province, Bagmati Province and Gandaki Province and generally cloudy in the hilly areas of the country. Light rain or thunder and lightning are likely to occur at a few places of Kosi Province and at one or two places of Madhis Province, Bagmati Province and Gandaki Province. Well, that's all we have for this bulletin. But before wrapping up the headlines once again. <music> Nepal requests early repatriation of its citizens from Israel. Nepalese nearby Gaza Strip relocated to safer places. Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda expresses commitment to resolve the problems seen in health sector. Artillery strike on a displaced persons camp in Myanmar kills at least 29 people. And England defeat Bangladesh and Pakistan defeat Sri Lanka in the ongoing ICC ODI World Cup. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.